Uh, going on further, um, I I would like to uh, welcome our guest today. Uh, that is uh, uh, Mr. John Sebastian De Souza, who is uh, my very best friend and uh, a wonderful performer, artist, teacher, uh, and uh, he's also he's a drummer, singer and uh, a very uh, experienced musician so he is going to conduct the master class for you all to uh, what is that uh, to go ahead and teach you all something new okay cool so when it comes to drums right the most important thing of music is rhythm right yeah so anything even if you don't have an instrument like a melodic instrument Right, like if anyone just plays on something, right, we always relate to it, right, it's easily relatable, right, when it comes to rhythm, right, anything that's got to do with rhythm, correct, yeah, so and drums, if you look at it, it's it's uh, one of the oldest instruments, right, like if you look at the ancient times also, they would play it on, on tree, those barks and, you know, uh, they made this, you know, the drums out of uh, animal skin and all of that, right, so this is something that, you know, the drums is like, like the oldest instrument ever, right? And all of us could always keep rhythm to it, right? Whenever we listen to certain songs or anything, our first thing would be like we either ta clap our hands or we tap our, you know, uh, foot, right? So that's something which we already have. The rhythm is already there naturally with us, right? But then when it comes to drums, right? So if you see uh, percussion itself, is a different section, right? In in the mu in uh, the overall music, right? So you have in music you have two things which is really important. That is one is the melodic concept and the rhythmic concept, right? So melody is where you just get us like a uh, a song out of it or a tune out of it, right? And then what happens is when you add rhythm to it, that's when it becomes more interesting, right? So when you're playing like for example even like uh, a nursery rhyme like Baba Black Sheep. It has a melody to it and everything has a rhythm also, right? So Baba Black Sheep, if you say like, Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full, right? So that one, if you look at it, I sang it in different pitches, right? So that makes up to a melody, okay? And then we have a rhythm, which goes like ta, 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 ta. You see that you can actually clap that rhythm also. So if I have to like, you know, if I have to play Baba Black Sheep on the drums, I know it's going to sound funny because you can't get a melody out of it because drums is a rhythmic instrument, right? Yeah, so everything in music is made up of two things. One is melody and one is rhythm. Okay, but now here, I'm going to show you something more on rhythm based. Okay, so we'll get into it now, okay, without any delay. So I think, uh, I hope you all could actually see the drum kit, right? You can see it properly, yeah. Okay, so now if you see this is, my head's cut off. Just one minute, I just adjust this a little bit. Okay. Yeah, cool. So now if you see, this is the drum kit, okay. This is like a very basic drum kit. Okay, if you, I think you would have seen like some people have a lot of drums also. I don't know if you know Shiv Mani. Have you heard of the Indian drummer Shiv Mani? Anyone? Thumbs up. Yeah. You would have seen a lot of drums. He might have a lot of like, you know, uh, extra, you know, he's a percussionist. Okay, there is a difference now when it comes to drums, right? So we have, this is a drum kit. This is actually, this is the actual drum kit. Okay. And when it comes to percussion, so this is also a perc anything that you, play rhythmically, right, without melody on it is a percussion instrument or probably even the piano is more rhythm based, right, so it's it's a percussion instrument, okay, so when it comes to percussion, right, we'll have to differentiate it, so percussion instruments can mostly be your uh, tabla and you know you have the bongos and all of those other things, okay, and this is the actual drum kit, okay, that's the difference, yeah, so now we'll go into I'll teach you a little very basic things about what drums is, and what drumming and all about is, okay? So we'll start off with the first thing is, you can write it down if you want, 
or anything okay and you can ask me questions also no problem anything that you want to know about drums okay so and uh, now i'll just explain the parts of the drum kit first okay so this is just for your general knowledge okay so that you can show off with one of your friends you know apart from keyboard you can say i know another instrument too yeah okay so like that okay so now so we'll start off okay so first you know in order to play the uh, the actual drum kit you have drumsticks for it okay and uh, the way you hold it the way you sit right and everything the way it's placed or matters a lot okay because i think even when you when you when you playing the keyboard right like your technique the way you playing the notes which fingers you're going to use all of that is like really important right yeah the same thing it comes to drumming okay so the way you sit the way you hold the stick how the drums are placed okay and also the most important thing is a lot of us we think like drums is just some noise right a lot of thing like and it's and it's and obviously it's actually something that's going to irritate people and i know i had problems with my neighbors also but they used to it though yeah so the thing is like when it comes to drums right we always think it's just something that we just bang on right but then the actual thing is the way it's tuned right like even when you see your keyboard is actually naturally tuned right but then when it comes to the guitar you'll have to tune it to get that really nice sound right otherwise for us it's it's not going to sound good like imagine i take a plate and i'm just like hitting it now you're going to feel really irritated about it right yeah so but when it comes to the drums it should sound nice right and that's what also helps a band if you've seen a band right the sound of the drums also is balanced nicely it's like it sounds good right so that's that's really important so each of these drums like that you see here <laughs> okay these are all tuned okay they i have a tuner which which and this is the head okay of the drum this is called the head of the drums or you call it as a skin so when you tighten this and loosen the skin you can change the sound of the drums okay so that's how you start tuning your drum kit okay and to make it sound good yeah so that's that's something which not many people know right we everyone thinks like oh he's just playing drums yeah but the sound also matters a lot okay so if you look at this this gives a different sound yeah and then i have another drum that's below here this is called the bass drum okay which i use my foot for it okay so you have like a pedal okay which hits the drum head right this is the drum head so you have the big one i think you would have seen in your school bands and all that right they they hold that big drum and they go like do 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 right like the sports day and all of that right i think you are familiar with it yeah so that's that's what is down here which i use my foot okay so i use my right foot on that and then you see this here these things can you see these things so these are not plates okay you can't eat uh, food with this and all okay a lot of people call it plates and it hurts me a lot yeah so this is this is called symbol this is called a symbol okay you call them symbols okay the spelling is actually c y m b a l okay symbol that's a different symbol right yeah so it's like i have another symbol here i think you i think you can see it yeah so even these symbols given different sounds okay so again it's all about how well the uh, you know balances all the tones which sounds good you know so that's the thing okay so now you understood right so now i'm going to start telling the names and then i'm going to randomly ask anyone okay to tell me the names of the i mean the parts of the kit yeah cool so all of you all should be like attentive okay yeah but don't worry if you make mistakes don't worry i'm not going to be like a strict officer or something okay <laughs> cool so we'll start off yeah so now if you look at this drum that's there you see it sounds very different from the others right so uh, this right it sounds very different from the others the reason is because you have something called the snare okay this drum is actually called the snare and then you have something called the snare okay so this wires can you see these wires here behind the drum right so this one is touching the skin you call it as a skin or you call it as a head i told you right so this one when it touches this okay so when you actually hit it that's why it gives you that kind of a tone okay and that this wire is actually called the snare okay
yeah and then that's and that's why the drum kit the drum itself is called the snare okay this drum is called the snare drum s n a r e okay snare snare drum yeah and then you have this drum which is called the high tom tom okay high h i g h high tom tom i think uh, kids you might know what tom and jerry is you know what tom and jerry is right yeah so the tom tom you can remember it like that okay tom tom okay there's no jerry in this okay only tom yeah okay so this is your high tom tom okay why is it called a high tom tom because it's pitched high as i told you right like each drum is tuned correct so the reason why it's called a high tom tom is because it's pitched high you tune it high okay high in pitch i think you all are familiar with what uh, pitching is right in your octaves and all of that right so this is your high tom tom and then you see the next one is called the mid tom tom okay mid or middle tom tom because it's in between so if you see these three these all sound similar right closer to each other right so this is called the mid tom tom or you call it the second tom tom the mid tom tom why it's called a mid tom tom because it's it's a little lower than the high tom tom and is a little higher than the this is called the low tom tom low or you call it as a flow tom tom it sounds really like like a bass right yeah the two bassy sound right yeah so this one's called the high tom tom the mid tom tom and then you have the low tom tom or the flow tom tom okay and then for my foot i have the bass drum which gives in a little more you see that if you see in 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 most of the songs if you don't have the bass it doesn't really sound good right and if you see like like you see that so it gives that punch it gives a support for a band also right the so mainly the bass yeah so that's your bass drum and then you have these cymbals as i said these are cymbals right so each of these cymbals have different names also to it okay and if you look at this cymbal it's quite different right it doesn't look like the the others right so it has two cymbals here okay and it claps each other like this so when i use my foot there's a there's a pedal to this also connected to a rod like this okay so when i use my foot it's going to clap like this so see that so i use my left foot for my this symbol so this symbol is called the hi hat symbol okay you 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 spell it as h i h a t okay the hi hat symbol okay then we have the crash symbol now the word crash itself right it says what it gives you a feeling crash is something you go crash it's like aggressive right so if you look at the symbol that's what the sound is so the, it's based on the sound also of what it produces they have given the name for it and then you have another symbol which is called the ride symbol this is so, this sounds a little bit subtle right so a ride symbol r i d e okay it's r i d e you ride you ride a bike yeah so you can remember it like that so it's a it's called a ride symbol so in your ride symbol if you see mostly when they play like different i think you would have come across something called jazz right a different type of uh, genre in music right so when you play jazz or something they usually use the symbol to ride on it ride is nothing but playing it continuously okay so okay so that's called riding okay so that's why it's called a ride symbol yeah so these are the parts of the kit and the stool that i'm sitting in also has a name for it okay you just can't say like a drum stool it's called a drum throne okay so it's kind of too majestic right to sit on a drum kit so it's it's called drum throne okay so that's called a drum throne and then you know these are the sticks for it okay the way you hold the stick also as i said there's a lot of technique to it right the way you hold the stick you can't hold it tight it should be in a relaxed way and mostly if you see drums you know sometimes we think like we'll have to you know lift our hands and do all those gimmicks right but it's not necessary okay it's all about just how you use your wrist okay like you see that i didn't do like like a lot of action right you see a lot of drummers do that but then it's just for showmanship that they do it okay but then you see it's all it's just wrist work okay it's all wrist yeah so now th this is like a very basic understanding of what the entire kit is all about okay yeah so who is going to tell me the parts of the drum kit anyone if you can remember
I okay. I'll just pick anyone randomly. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Just one minute. Someone's coming in. Okay. Yeah. So Catherine, can you tell me? I'm going to play one drop, and then you tell me. You can just guess. Okay. You just tell me what the name is. Okay. What drum is it? Nice. That's good. Okay. So Anina. Yeah. So this one. I think it's the high tom tom. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, Mr. Maria Raj. Yeah. So this one. I can't hear you, sir. Mid tom tom. I could, ah, I could see your lips go. Yeah, cool. So that's that's a mid tom tom. Good, great. And I'm not getting that. Is it uh, Shri Shrita, right? Shrita. I'm not. I, I'm sorry if my pronunciation is bad. Yeah, yeah. Shrita. Yeah, Shrita. Shrita. Okay. Cool. You can hear me, right? Yeah. Yes. By the way, you did a good job on your recital, and all of you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I forgot to acknowledge that. Okay, you all did a great job. All of you who was there who did that. Okay, good job. Yeah. So yeah, now you tell me. Okay, what 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 drum is this? What's it called? No, I can't see you. Do you know what this drum is? What is it? Head. Okay, this is the head. That's nice. You remember that? Okay. But what drum is this? I told you, right? I showed you something also. I showed you like this one, right? This is called something. These wires. You don't know? Yeah. Okay, it's okay. But okay, you tell me what is this then? What is this? Like what are these things? What are those things? Huh? Try. You don't know? Okay, these are called the symbols. Okay, these are called symbols. Yeah, and this is called the <coughs> snare drum. Can you say that for me? Snare. Say that. Snare. Snare. Snare drum. Yeah. Now you remember it. Yeah. Okay. So now I think. Most of y'all know what everything is, and it's nice. Okay, y'all could remember. It. Yeah. So, as I said, like drums, you know, it's uh, it's an instrument where which is like really important for a band, right? Without drums, you don't really feel the music sometimes, correct? And most of the songs is based on rhythm itself. The rhythm is the backbone of any song or anything that you compose, right? Like by na by nature, we are always inclined to rhythm, correct? and when it comes to drumming right the most important thing is the coordination now if you look at some drummers they have they pl if you look at a tabla player right he's just using both his his right hand left hand right or you see a, a bongos i think you would have seen those bongos and all of that the, the african instruments right so or the latin american instrument they use their hands a lot and even if you noticed uh, the drummer shivmani is mostly using his hands you know he goes like this he does all the stunts you know all those kind of those tricks and all of that right so that is more percussive right but when it comes to the drum kit the most important thing is the coordination of all your limbs right so each thing is acting upon differently right it's not at the same time going together like this right yeah so you this hand the right hand will be doing something else your left hand is doing something else your right foot and left foot yeah so that's the speciality of what drumming is all about just the coordination right and to get this coordination sometimes we might be like oh it's it's like really simple you can do it but this itself you know it involves a lot of because each of your limb has to work at the same time and playing it differently right it's not going to be playing it together like this there's no coordination this is just straight forward right but when you're doing differently that's where the challenge is okay so that's that's about what drumming is you know in very basic understanding of your drumming is all about coordination and drums is the the king of all rhythm right the rhythm uh, section of what music is all about yeah 
so this is like a very small thing about what drums is maybe we could try and probably do make like a rhythm by yourself okay very simple you could clap okay yeah so i could just give you like on you, you all could sit and then we could it's a very very basic uh, rhythm that we could do together okay so on your thighs yeah so i want you to play you go like one you can, you don't need to count you just go like you play once here and then you can do that one okay come on you can do it okay okay good so you see i just played one year and then i played two claps okay it's just like a very basic understanding of rhythmic sections okay so now i want you to uh, we'll try something else different okay so you're playing like uh, it goes like this like i think you would have seen this uh, you would have known this song right this we will rock you a very 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 famous song which has a very easy beat to play so that one if you look at that song this is what the the kind of rhythm is like so it goes like okay now we are going to try that so it's going to be like so i want you to clap now you you when you clap on your thighs it's going to be two times so once it's going to one and then you have two okay i mean you play one then one clap and then again two on your thighs okay so we'll try it yeah okay and if you notice this is like a very very uh, very basic groove you know you listen to a lot of songs they have this kind of a groove right that's the same thing is just that you're trying to add extra i hats and all of that to it okay so if you see yeah that's like very basic grooves that you could do okay so we could have a, you know probably you could have another session where we can get into just playing some rhythms and you know having an interactive session okay so we could plan maybe sam could do another we could do like another drum session you know where we introduce more because you know one instrument has so much to talk about right so this is all about like very basic stuff of what drumming is all about okay and i hope you like it yeah and you understood and you learned a little bit at least yeah so probably we'll do it more and more you know more often and uh, i could probably i could end with uh, like a solo if you would like to like to see yeah so i'll just finish off with just like a small performance and i hope you enjoy it yeah okay cool
Okay, so that's something a little bit. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward for more stuff like this that we get interaction, you know, and we get more into drumming and all of that. Okay, and I hope you guys, everyone enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Jan, we enjoyed a lot. Yeah, and I thank uh, thank my friend Sam for inviting me. and sharing this all knowledge with all of you all yeah so i yes, will come and uh, continue the session with us of course we are going to have uh, john again as uh, he told that he is going to give a separate session uh, um, on playing the rhythms and uh, this one so we are going to uh, watch john again so probably we'll wait for that to happen and uh, uh john can you also uh, tell uh, tell about uh, the places where you where you taught and now that uh, you have a new uh, academy i mean you have a academy can you please tell about yeah. that for everyone so to tell so i started off to say about like my musical journey so i started off at the age of 10 i think some of you might be 10 and less or more but you know i started in that uh, like especially i don't know how old is uh, shita right how old are you i am i am 16 september 27 i'm going wow. to get seven that's great so you started off much more earlier than me that's so nice okay so i started when i was 10 so i am from a musical background family so all of them are musicians at home uh, most of them and then uh, i started off drumming it's been about 16 to 17 years of just music and drumming and singing also so i started off teaching about 4 uh, years back just finished graduated college uh, from st joseph's college of commerce and then i got into music completely so i'm i've been teaching for about 4 years i started teaching in uh, nathaniel school of music and then uh, went into rainbow bridge both the school so i i still teach there at rainbow bridge and nathaniel but mostly you know uh, working on my own uh, school as well i just started off my school recently about i started off 2 years back but not you know completely into it but i just started off with private classes right now so it's called dramatics the school that i'm started exclusively only for drums so this is something which i started a new journey so music is what i do for a living we perform here and there i've performed a lot of shows with sam also we both done a lot of shows together and yeah that's about it that's all my journey is <laughs> so uh, i would like to thank john for uh, specially coming here taking uh, his time out of his schedule so basically john uh, is as busy so you know that i don't uh, reply back and i am also busy teaching here and there but john is also that busy because he is teaching in two academies having his private classes and uh, playing for shows and handling everything by himself so um uh, when when uh, i hope everyone enjoyed uh, this session of learning something uh, about the drums as the as what john spoke to us each of us he explained so well with the parts of drums and the rhythm and uh, how how it is used how is it the main instrument uh, this is going to help each one of you uh, separately uh, when you um, go outside you know something about the drums now which you didn't before and you know how what are the names of the drums and you know that it is tuned and uh, everything what uh, john explained he very well put this across so nicely to each one present here and you all all, all answered very well when he asked uh, you the questions too so uh, what i would like to say is again uh, john is welcome uh, to continue the sessions and uh, to have uh, what that different class where he can teach with them and the thing and uh, now that you know the person who is very good uh, at drums and who teach incredibly well uh, i would like to say that uh, he has wonderful material wonderful uh, students under him and he is doing uh, really great 
So any of you all who is interested to learn drums or any of your friends who is interested to learn drums, you can go ahead and approach uh, John who will uh, assist you and who will guide you uh, to start uh, private classes with them. So uh, I would like to encourage each one present here to have uh, what is that access to that. And I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, uh, John will pass me the necessary details that I can pass to each one of you all present here with regard to his performance. Uh, I mean, channel that he has separately, which is amazing that you all have to watch. And also uh, his contact details for you all to see whether I've heard that few of your uh, uh, siblings or a few of your relatives love to play drums and uh, who are looking for a good drum teacher. Uh, so it's very good to have uh, our John uh, go ahead and teach them uh, privately. So that is with the masterclass today. It was really good. Thank you, John. Uh, you you uh, you did a great job. Thank you so much. Uh, he is one of my uh, very 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 close best friend and an amazing performer. Uh, so actually, when I asked him uh, about the masterclass, I told him like. Uh, uh, will you be able to do it? Because he just completed his class at probably at 6.30 something. And um, he was ready to accommodate uh, you all into the sessions. Even he had a busy schedule uh, without uh, taking the rest and uh, everything. So thank you so much, John. And thank you everyone who's present here. Uh, Shruta, uh, Mariraksa, Anina, uh, Rene, Harshita, Sansita, Vahin, Venkat. Uh, who else is there? Let me, let me, uh, I might have not forgotten him. Okay. Harshita, Catherine, Harshita. Yes, those are the people right here. And we are also, uh, what is that? We also like to, um, what is that? Uh, others who are watching, probably others who will watch this online through the page that is a uh, few of my other students who didn't join uh, almost around 15 of them. So good job guys of those who performed in the recital, keep it up and this will keep happening uh, uh, very often. So you'll have recitals, you'll have also masterclass and you'll have different artists uh, talk to you and give you a wonderful message or wonderful introduction like how our uh, John did. And also I have shared the link for the recital personally to each and everyone present here. So go ahead and uh, please subscribe the channel and uh, share it to as many people as possible. Okay, each one of you put it on your and share it so that others watch the recital and also have a, a idea about what you are learning and what you are doing. So there, there is going to be a lot of sessions like this, uh, different sessions, not only drums, we are going to learn different instruments too. And uh, one day we are going to have a big performance and also have all our guests together in one uh, roof, which will uh, it'll be like a, a complete, a big recital, which we'll have once in a year. So that is my plan. Uh, so thank you each one uh, present here. Thank your parents uh, for uh, uh, what is that uh, for, for taking the message and uh, for letting you all know quickly and uh, getting you all to be present here. Thank uh, each of your presence, uh, parents here and also the students who have joined. Thank you so much. And uh, please uh, do keep in touch and uh, please practice everyone, especially. I would like to tell that again. Uh, I like to remind, I know most of you are practicing and uh, like to watch whoever has not performed, please be ready. This is your turn. So thank you. Thank you, John, for joining us. Thank and, you everyone uh, for patiently listening and I hope you had a good session. We'll have it next time. Okay. And I hope best for everyone. So all the best in your learning and do great. God bless. And thank you, Sam. See you You're all welcome. sometime soon. Well, everyone, take care. Bye. You. See you all in Bye. your class. Bye.